This episode of Capes and Lunatics Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off free shipping and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This Luca Parrish, and you are listening to the Capes and the Lunatics Sidekicks podcast. I'm here for Peter. Parker. Oh, we got some Peter. We got some Harry. We got some Peter. We got some. Is that Harry Peter? What now? <laughs> we got some demons. We got it all. Welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast, episode 98. Uh oh. Oh, we march to 100. I am Phil. Join me as always. That supernatural figure. It is. Hang out. It's a little bad. Right, so. Today, continue our hot gobble gobble run. We're talking about big pieces of natural from the This is a good one. Well, January, February, and March 1989. So we're all waiting in anticipation for that Michael Keaton Batman movie. Yikes. Not uh-huh. kidding. It, it, it held up. It did what it needed to do. Not going to lie. It created it created modern superhero movies. Shut your mouth. For better or for worse. <laughs> Death do us part. <laughs> well, we are doing Spider-Man. Hey, oh. <laughs> Don't make me call Mephisto, Phil. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so yes, this this story begins in Spectacular Spider-Man 146. Um, are those tentacles? Oh, yeah, you're very observant, Lil. You always <laughs> notice those tentacles, don't you? Uh, don't you? Don't you? Uh, it's gotta hear a trigger. No, not that one. <laughs> hey, like they like they surprise you every so often. Party in the front and the back. Uh, definitely. <laughs> I don't think those are tentacles. There you go. There we go. So, yes. This one. Well, the, the Spectacular Spider-Man issue is written by Jerry Conway, killer of Gwen Stacy. I mean, honestly, for all I joke about it, I'm not that mad at it. I know. Mary Jane's where it's at. It's fine. Ew. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fine. Sal Buscema art on these spectacular issues. Classic Sal Buscema. That's right. I'm expecting a right cross. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Oh, this begins at the, they're still in the Bedford Towers. Uh, good old Bedford Towers. So yes. Damn Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't take one for the team, could you, Mary Jane? Is that what you're saying? I get Bruce on the phone. <laughs> Of them living like this. <laughs> oh, good lord. But yes, Spectacular 146 Demon Knight. I can relate. <laughs> uh, told you to quit drinking. Anyway, uh, yeah, Spider Pete Swing. Tri- oh, oh no, he's coming home from class at ESU. My relationship with Mary Jane has never been better. I would never get rid of it for anything. Uh. That that comment did not hold up well. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> and Jay Jonah actually paid me early for Spider-Man captures Mysterio photos I sold him. Oh, oh you, you know this is fake as hell. <laughs> you know he's you, living in a dreamland. <laughs> you know something bad's about to go down. I mean, Jameson paid him early, and that Mysterio. Uh, comment he made is from Amazing Spider-Man, what is it, 311? Let me see. Because we covered that early, early on. Uh, let me check my list here. We, we, we might have to do another Mysterio month. I, I suggest May. Oh, definitely. Oh, no, or we could do an Aunt May in May. I don't know. Aunt May in May? <laughs> for 2022. I know you have the schedule all, all rolled out for <laughs> We'll have to look. We'll have to switch some stuff around. Aunt May May. May or Mayday, you know, whatever. Oh, definitely. 
Uh, oh yeah, Mysterio would be further down. Uh, oh, Amazing Spider-Man three eleven was episode twenty seven. Damn, son. <laughs> so I said it was like during the first year. Yeah. Yep. yep, yep. way down for that. <laughs> Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the show notes to YouTube or something. Yeah. Uh, and then, oh, look, Pete's on swinging home on the rooftops. Gets attacked by a uh, so, uh, a pipe or something. Holy crap. With teeth. Ooh. ooh that's, right. that's nightmare fuel right there. That's right. It's got teeth down there. <laughs> uh, that's a good movie. Oh, <laughs> Lil Flub starring in that. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. I can't wait to tell MJ about my day. I hope I have time for a shower before she and her cousin Christy. Oh, we got cousin. Oh, yeah. Pete, Pete's got a stalker, cousin Christy. Yeah. Yikes. I always think of um, Three's Company. Even though it's not Chrissy, I just three's company. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. This thing starts to attack. slow. <laughs> what I'm saying. This thing starts attacking him, and he's like, "Wait a minute! All the weird stuff I saw yesterday in the aforementioned amazing three eleven, he thought was all Mysterio." Can't be Mysterio all the time, buddy. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, <laughs> one problem: old fishbowl faces in jail. <laughs> Mm. And he's like, uh oh, Mysterio is a special effects wiz wizard, not an honest golly magician. There should be electronics inside this thing, but it's empty. It's just a vent. Nothing but vent. Hmm. Mm -mm. I think you've just dropped into the middle of an X Men crossover, uh, Pete. <laughs> Poor Pete. I mean, sometimes these these things can be fun work because it's like it's not it has nothing to do with Spider Man, but he just like gets to deal with the aftermath of some of this, you know, the mutant stuff. Because those were like some of the funnest ones for me. It was like this Spider Man ones, the Daredevil one ones. I don't know what the hell's going on with Fantastic Fours. Uh, but yeah, Pete gets home. Good, nobody's home. So he's like, and at least with Christy here, I won't have to sneak in because he's wearing a suit. Why didn't my spider sense warn me I was in danger? <laughs> See, that's what they should do. They should give him the Superman weakness, you know, supernatural. No spider. He's going to get no spider sense tingle. That would be nice. Yes. You know, I think should be tingling all the time. It's ting, ting, tingling, ting, ting, tingling. Uh, oh, and then he sees a note. Peter took Christy shopping for dinner goodies. I guess I have. I guess I have time for that shower without a thirteen or sixteen or however how old she is, ogling me. Okay. Oh Lord. Then we see Pete, uh, Mary Jane and Christy, and Christy just eating, eating, eating. Oh, where do you put it? Where do you put it all? Yikes. <laughs> yes, because we'll find out later she's a bulimic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tell me more about modeling, Mary Jane. I want to be a model. Well, you're halfway there, sister. <laughs> well, you got the jeans and you got the bulimia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, hey. Good morning, Jamie. He said, did you see the new DLC for Spider-Man for PS5? Miles Morales in the Spider-Verse suit. Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, I get, if I get a PS5, it'll be just for that game. <laughs> Bro, convert. I know what I. Uh. Oh my lord, Mary Jane. I wish her mom had given us some warning for they before she left. Christy just like ran away. <laughs> well, I think the parents were gone anyway. So Christy. Yeah, you know that whole Mary Jane's family. Everybody's kind of a rotten apple, including you, Aunt Anna. They're all Rolling Stones. <laughs> Oh, then we see, oh, Jackson Heights, Queens, Robbie Robertson rocking around on a cane after his beating from Tombstone. Tombstone! Yeah. You don't do that to Robbie. Robbie's safe. <laughs> For some reason, Ray loves Tombstone. He 
He likes Colossus's uh, bastard child. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah, he's thinking about uh, testifying, which that'll get that one. That's not gonna get it. We'll have to get there someday. Oh, no doubt we will. <laughs> so yeah, his wife's all mad that he wants to like put himself in danger because it's something he saw twenty years ago. All right, here we go. Hicksville, Long Island, midnight. Of course, it's midnight. Appropriate. <laughs> Harry Osborne having a nightmare. Whose face? Whose face? Not mine. Please, not mine. Not the face. Ah! <laughs> not in the face. Just and Liz wakes him up. It's a, just a dream. You're all right. I dream the same dream every night for a week. I see a face in the mirror. First, it's my father's. Then it's mine. Oh lord! Always oh, that father. Daddy issues. Ugh. The grinning face of a monster. Are the Osborns like the worst hereditary line to be born into in comics? I, mean, I feel like yes. I mean, those there are some bad genes there. Just look at that hair. <laughs> Amnesia, the constant need to go, disappear to Europe for like fifteen years, you know. The mental, just things. The mental instability. <laughs> uh oh, my lord, rich people. Oh, maybe we should have stayed at our place in New Jersey instead well, of. How rich are you if you're living in Jersey? If it's not Orange Jersey, you're not living. Well, I'm just saying they have more than one house, but. Oh, well, the other that. house could be in Detroit. I'm just saying. Well, no, Long Island, New Jersey. Yeah, I mean, I, they're not impressing me. It's not like they live in Midtown, New York, or anything like that, or the Hamptons or something. That's, That's all that I'm saying. He ain't got his daddy's Osborne money, obviously. That's oh no, you must have woke up psycho number three, little Normie. <laughs> you know why, why would they give? Why did they give Harry a child? That was just the the most egregious thing to me. I just want to know why would you name your child after your psychotic father? Although maybe he had amnesia and he forgot his father was a psycho. There you go. Uh. So yeah. So how old is Normie today? Two, seven. 18? He's got. I would say he's under two because he's in a crib now. <laughs> exactly. It's like hmm. Hmm. And then. Yeah. Uh. Oh, it's all right. Daddy's here. And he's like, oh, we'll pack up and move to Jersey this weekend, okay? And Liz is like, oh, thank God. Oh, God. Amnesia. Harry doesn't remember the nightmares of his past, but I do. <laughs> I don't know what happened to his father. I know what happened to his father. What can happen to Harry? I almost called Peter Parker when Harry started having these dreams again. Well, well, at least she's she's the smartest one and the most rational one in the bunch. Let's just put it that way. You know, I'm... I'm just, it's just this house. That's all. Oh, it must have been Norman's house. Oh. You know, it's just oozing with crazy and freaking gobble gobble juice. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Lord. But look who's creeping outside on a glider. Blech. It's Mackendale. The boys are back in town. <laughs> oh, Lord. But then back at Bedford Towers. <laughs> Pete's in the shower. <laughs> About time. How long do you need to take a shower? Jeez. Uh, well, it says, oh, I should have done this last night. And then, oh, he's got soap and by MJ. Hand me a towel. And oh, no, it's Chris. Yeah, it's not MJ. <laughs> nice web shoot of Cousin Peter. <laughs> oh! Prerequisite, no one tell Rob. True, true. Nobody oh. tell Rob! But he's, he's like, oh my gosh. She's like, don't fret. I got three older brothers back home. So you're looking at your older brothers? Oh, I told you Mary Jane's family. Something's not clean in the buttermilk. I'm, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> Are we sure they're not from Alabama? Are we sure? West Virginia. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is closer to good old Pittsburgh, ain't it? No. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, and then she wants breakfast. Flirting with my man, give you an appetite, Mary Jane said. The disrespect of it all. Look at her. She was all ready to go, man. She's in a bathrobe. And... Oh, Lord. Don't kid a kidder. When it comes to teasing boys, Mary Jane Watson won the All-City Finals four years running. 
Yeah, I, I bet you did. <laughs> they didn't call me an iron worker for nothing. <laughs> Get out, Philip. Mm. Inappropriate. Get out. <laughs> Nobody tell Lilith. <laughs> Nobody tell Rob. Uh. And Peter's thinking, getting dressed, thinking it's starting to get real uncomfortable with Christy here. But where else can she stay? Oh, they're gonna da, 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 da. ship her <laughs> Algeria, I, aka Queens. And then Harry calls Peter. Hey, how how are Liz and little Norman? What are you guys gonna come over for dinner? Peter, listen, can you come out to the chemical plant in Manhattan? Something strange is going on. Peter's thinking, I haven't heard Harry's voice sound like this since. No, it can't be happening again. It's like, hang tight, I'll be right there. Oh, good lord. And side plot the Starlight Room in Midtown Manhattan, where a re whole restaurant is like the dead people. The cops are there with Ben Urich. This Ben Urich keeps coming up, Lil. Mm. As near as we can figure, we got 20 of your local mob lieutenants all dead. Yikes. <laughs> Does it have a thing to do with the slasher killing at the zoo a few nights ago? <laughs> and then, oh, look, written on one of the tables, Kingpin, Wolf's Kill. Get it? That's Not right, Dave. Again, this has to do. We're gonna have to cover this one day. Yes, when the kingpin was at a mob war with two mutant werewolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, and, and Glory Grant falls in love with one of them. Well, we we won't we won't talk about that. <laughs> yes. No king shaming. Oh, no doggy style jokes. <laughs> uh, Speaking uh, of Harry. Uh... Harry Parker, uh, Harry Peters. Whoa! <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the arranger. Oh, yes, Mr. Fisk is a respectable businessman, but I just came down to check the scene of the crime. A legitimate businessman! A spice importer, exporter who has his own skyscraper, sure. The spice business, it's so good. <laughs> spice, spice, baby. <laughs> hey, it's 89. Yeah, about three years too early. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, Lord. <clears throat> then Ben. <clears throat> change of scene. Ben calls the bugle. Joy Mercado, as she's known in this decade, is putting the story in the computer. And then, yeah. There's Glory. There's Jameson. Where's Cushing? Cushing! He always reminds me of Mr. Spacely, like, honest to God. <laughs> Where's this? What's this headline? Poltergeist? Uh, and he's like, yes, sir, but we're sightings all around the city. Possibly supernatural events. Which the uh, editor's note tells us. See Amazing Spider-Man, Web of Spider-Man, and the X-Books. Buy them! Buy them now! <laughs> Basically, see every Marvel book at this time. Anyone, like, in New York... <laughs> Because the Hulk got out of this because he was in Vegas. <laughs> uh, P O. <laughs> He's like, define your terms. People disappear. That yeah, disappearing in elevators, inanimate objects going berserk, rumors about ghosts in the Empire State Building. Ooh, spooky! <laughs> Wait, we're a day late because we're recording this the day after. I Monday, know. So. Should have been. Should have been ghosts and like half naked redheads. What? Exactly. <laughs> That's my kind of party. And Jameson's like, no, it should have been, ex you know, a question mark, you know, instead of an exclamation point. <laughs> mm. Oh, Lord. And then Glory meets her. Oh, this is where she meets her new boyfriend. They run into each other in the lobby. Mm. You will allow me to buy you lunch. <laughs> a stranger in New York. Oh, Lord. Eduardo Lobo. Get it? Get it? Get it, Lobo? Ah, uh, that's the one thing they can have from DC that I don't care about. Uh, 
I have a feeling we will be very close friends. Whoa. In your dreams, pal. <laughs> oh, he's dreaming for a while. Uh, all right, here we go. At the Osborne Chemical Plant. It's about to go down. <laughs> so wait, so Harry's wearing a hard hat. Didn't offer Peter one? He is an Osborne. Very selfish. That's another hereditary trait. Oh, Peter, you shouldn't need a hard hat with that hard head of yours. Uh, so yeah, he's telling him about the nightmares. And we started when we moved back to the old house in Hicksville. Why did you move? I don't know. Something seemed to draw me back there. As if I, as if there's unfinished business. He's thinking business as the goblin. Harry doesn't remember his brief career as the second green goblin because you know that hereditary amnesia. Uh, replacing his father. Harry became the goblin under the influence of a drug flashback. <laughs> Yeah, goblin juice. Uh, and, oh my lord, he blocked the entire episode from his conscious memory with a case of hysterical amnesia. Oh, I want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> that amnesia is finally wearing off. Harry, hold my advice. Move back to New Jersey. Great, great. Get out, get out of the state. <laughs> Osborne. Sell your dad's house. Take a trip. He's up on yourself. And he's like, spider sense going nuts. We see more pipes going crazy. It's like a little hellfire Saturday night. PETA, do something. Help me. Peter's like, I'm going to get a fire axe. As he leaps into the shadows to change clothes. That's weird. What's weird is the way my spider sense is acting. Right before the pipe started doing a snake dance. My spider sense warned me of danger, and now it's quiet as if the danger has passed somehow. But that's crazy. Is it, though? I guess they don't know what book they're in. It's fine. Again, supernatural. I mean, I mean, I guess you would get a sudden tingle from the pipes actually moving. But after that, I don't know. But yeah, so he swings into Spider-Man. The whole situation is crazy. <laughs> pipes and fan vents don't just come alive. Somebody or something's behind all this, and I'm gonna find out who or what. But I would have to journey to an X book for that. Uh, and he's, he's going after Harry. He's like, Man, if he didn't have nightmares before, I'm sure have him now. Uh, he's like, Could his, Harry's nightmares be tied to all this freak stuff happening in the last few days? Mm, Harry's nightmares started a week ago, and when he got a sudden notion to move back to his dad's house, and it's about a week ago, strange things started happening in New York. Fire hydrants, exploding elevators going berserk, cars driving on their own. Again, I thought Mysterio was responsible. But what if his Can't always just be blaming Mysterio, bro. What if he's just a coincidence? Yeah, so all the workers run out. He grabs Harry and runs out. Uh oh, spider sense again. What's that up there in the smoke? Someone flying. Flying away. Uh, then he puts Harry down where he's safe. He should be okay physically. Uh, the, the chemical plant's totaled. Kind of change back to Peter and get back to Harry. And again, who? how did he not know who's who was flying out in the air? It was obviously someone on a glider. Come on. <laughs> he was just hoping. The hope of hopes. You know, this can't be what I think it is. Please, for the love of God, not again. I know. Sick of this! We're moving to Michigan! <laughs> Ah! Oh my lord! And Harry's all sad because the kid, the plant's like gone. He's like, "Oh, my dad was so proud of this plant." Yeah, your daddy's tried to bite his own face off too. <laughs> this was all I had of him, Peter, and I lost it. Oh yeah, you don't have his old house. You don't have his money. Okay. <laughs> Harry always idolized his father, even when Norman treated him like dirt. That's partially why Harry became the Goblin when Norman died. Subconsciously, he wanted to please the old man. I've got a feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. Uh, so the issue ends. Once again, Harry has another nightmare. The hour after midnight. <laughs> I get it. Uh, so he gets, uh, he gets up to get a drink. And he sees the goblin in the mirror. Tomorrow's too late, Harry boy. So is today. You're mine, Harry. Always were. Always will be. Daddy's little boy. Uh, 
You know, it'd be funny. I mean, it was retconning and stuff, but if, I mean, supposedly Norman's still alive in Europe, if he was just using Inferno as an excuse to, like, try to bring Harry back as the Gauntlet. I would have liked it a lot better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All right, so, the action continues in Web of Spider-Man 47. Well, with the Hobgoblin holding Spider-Man in his hand. I hold him in my hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. Get out! Uh, the Face in the Mirror is the title of this one. <laughs> Sounds like an Iron Man issue, to be honest. <laughs> Sounds like the intervention episode. <laughs> oh, this one written also by Jerry Conway, but the artist by Alex Saviak. Ooh, we just getting the best of both worlds up in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember because for a while I think uh, Conway was writing amazing or uh, uh, spectacular and web. Whew, could you imagine? That's a busy. That's a busy bee right there. Yeah, well, I think he usually could to like cross over, so it's almost like you got two books a month. So yeah. Oh Lord, so we see. Oh look. We see some uh, uh, Mackendales coming through the wreckage of the chemical plant. Where, where, where? As you do. <laughs> where, where, where? And then all of a sudden, uh, you sound like a guy who just lost lost the key to the men's washroom, hobby pal. <laughs> Tell me what you're looking for. Maybe I can help you find it. Spider Man, what are you doing here? for you hobgoblin oh i did i spotted you earlier today sneaking around the chemical plant after things got crazy uh, and then he says remember what happened and basically recapping how the everything tried to tear itself apart so i've got to wonder was that all your idea is that why you came back after dark i didn't want to be seen in that costume <laughs> mm. can't blame him I had a hunt you show up. Fool, I was surprised by what happened to Osborne's factory as you. I wanted it intact, but now... Oh, Lord. Now it looks like a rock monster grabs PETA. <laughs> it just comes up out of the earth and just like, yeah, it's like concrete and dirt. Uh, get a splash page of it trying to grab PETA. PETA? Uh... Hobgoblin once again mentioning strange things happening in New York. As always. Again, see current X books, amazing and spectacular Spider Man. Uh off and then he flies off like the like the brave man he is. Obviously, I won't find what I'm looking for here. I mean, fortunately, I've got other places to look. Goodbye, Spider Man, and I do mean goodbye. I said good day, sir. Ah! So Pete uh, flexes the muscles and Breaks free of the creature, which basically just disappears. He's like, just like that fan vent uh, on the roof of Bedford Tower last night. Mm. Uh, in spectacular 146, which would just come. Why didn't it warn me about either the fan vent or the dirt, dirt monster? His body sense is broken, buddy. Time to re up on the responsibility, floating head, maybe. Uh, need some new warranty. Uh, and the whole city's going nuts. Is the whole city going nuts, or is it just me? Oh, my lord. And then we see Glory at lunch with Eduardo. You see this building there? Yeah. Does that look like Lex Tower? Remember when bit, it was, but then it, that's based on a real building, so. Ah, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> looks like the big L. Oh, my lord. And then look who's creeping on them at lunch. Uh, Joy and Ben Urich. <laughs> Damn it, the Yurix. <laughs> Something about that guy. Oh, and then the escalator runs amok. Can't catch a break. Oh, my lord, but Eduardo saves Glory from falling. So, man, if he wasn't getting it before. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And then Joy and Ben, oh, what's happening to this story? We're not reporting a story. We're living it. Mm. And then Pete swings to Aunt May's house. <laughs> Or of course, <laughs> of course, he's eating. Well, you know, we all know Mary Jane is not a good cook. So. That's true. Uh, 
So yeah, they're all having breakfast with the borders. <laughs> uh, oh lord, foreshadowing. Mary Jane's right. I'm glad we don't live here. Um, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> Honestly, in this, in this economy, in the new Spider-Man books, they should totally kill out, off Aunt May just so that he'll have a house to live that's paid off. I mean, they did that, <laughs> they did that after the Clone Saga. They lived there with exactly. Aunt It's like, in this economy, he should definitely be hoping she dies. What's he thinking? <laughs> oh, Uncle Ben have a pension? <laughs> is, that the end, is that the end of Last Remains? It's like, oh, dude, oh, you made a deal for your aunt. Ah, let her die. This economy. <laughs> funny oh my at this point everybody's no no offense everybody's ready for aunt may to be gone like uh -huh. all the people that have like a high affinity for her we're like yeah it's it's time she's a thousand it's time a hot a hot a hot redhead a hot, a hot redhead is a good earner and then my old uh elderly aunt yeah in this economy yeah i get with the redhead <laughs> and there are the fringe benefits <laughs> Oh my lord! Oh, so they bring up yeah, maybe Christy should stay in Queens with Aunt May and the Borders. Yeah, because you guys don't have very y'all ain't ready to be parents just yet. Well, they're never home half the time, Aunt. Exactly. Peter wants to be able to take a shower in peace <laughs> without being ogled. <laughs> wants to wants to be able to How's work. Feel, Peter. Wants to be able to work that web shooter sometimes. <laughs> he doesn't want to be making love to his wife with that. With that. Christy like lurking around the corner. Around every corner. <laughs> Why we can bake cookies, Aunt May says. Don't do you think this was like a, a, a they were thinking about giving them a kid and so they like kind of threw this at them like they're like, no, they hate it. Stop. It, stop. It's kind of it's kind of you know, it's drama, but it's also like they kind of have a kid, but it's not their kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my lord. So yes, they're Peter and Mary Jane are washing the dishes and he's telling her about Harry and the bad dreams. Yesterday, Harry's plant wrecked itself and this morning I spotted hobgoblins slipping through the wreckage. Uh, oh, Lord. And for those of you who don't know who the hobgoblin is, he explains that he patterns himself after the green goblin. Of course he does. Yes. <laughs> Look at that good old exposi exposition dump. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And I was just the car Bruce got her. Mary Jane gets in a car. Whatever happened to that car? It's New York. Things happen. It's probably still in a parking garage. <laughs> Either got wrecked in a superhero fight or they sold it. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, she drives off. And Peter goes. And, oh, look, he goes to visit uh, Harry and Liz. Boo. Hey, Liz, how's Little Mormon? My favorite. Nope. She's all shaky. Oh, Lord. Who's that wearing a, uh, an orange cape up on the roof? It's a job turkey. Gobble, gobble. Ah! Uh, speaking of job turkeys. Gobble, gobble. Uh, but, yeah, Liz says Harry's up in the attic, but he's not himself. So, And Peter goes up, and he's like, what's going on? Go away. It's here somewhere. Leave me alone. Peter's like, oh no, it's in worse shape than I thought. Wait a minute, what's that cry from outside? And he sees a, a hobgoblin attacking Liz and Norman, just whipping them pumpkin bombs. And you get a pumpkin bomb, and you get a pumpkin bomb. Oh, with my. whipped cream. So, yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, no, he's whipping them pumpkin bombs around, you know, basically. Um, a couple of bulls down the gold. Uh, you want me to go away? I'll go away, but not before I've seen your husband. Where is he? This is like, real. This isn't happening. Uh, I'll give you one last chance. Then I'll get nasty. Where is Harry Osborne? She's like behind you. Give me a break. Nobody falls for. But Harry, Harry, Harry really behind him hits him with a rake. Good old suburban rake. Dumb Harold, exceedingly stupid. I should kill you for that. And I could, as he's thrown finger blasts. Uh, I really could, but you have something I want. Shut up, love. Lucky. <laughs> Harry, whatever it is, give it to him. Listen to your wife, Harold. You know what I want. Give it to me. 
That's when Spider-Man jumps down. Thanks, Holly Pal. All my life. I it's a thruple. <laughs> Kick him in the face. I always wanted a line like that. You made my day, really. Harry's falling apart. Can't blame him. I'm pretty stressed myself. He tells him, your wife and kid need you. Uh, so, yeah. Then a hog goblin's coming after him. Throwing pumpkin bombs and blasts. Tearing up the pool. The in-ground pool. Oh, not the pool. That's uh, rude. Rude. So he tells them, run while I keep Hobgoblin distracted. As he, like, webs himself to that glider. Oh, Lord, here comes the razor sharp uh, bats. <sighs> oh, you're good, Hobby. Almost as good as the real Hobgoblin. Burn! Oh. Burn! You mean my predecessor, the famous Ned Leeds? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll play with that for now. <laughs> Oh, yes, dear Ned. He was so good he got himself killed. Ah, uh, no, you hired someone to kill him because you didn't have the balls to do it yourself. Mm. Pete, just like, I'll get myself killed if I keep underestimating this guy. So, yeah, Peter takes a header into the pool. Mm. And Hobgoblin's like, one last chance, Harold. Mm. I fought some scuzz in my time, Hobby Pal, the threatening guy's wife and kid. You're here in a league of one. <laughs> my thank you, Spider-Man, is he because oh my god, he's got that squishy, that squishy ball skull just like uh Scarecrow had in Nightfall. It's stress, man. <laughs> it's a stress and, ball, it's fine. And in like in either universe, it like shoots out gas. <laughs> I try to stand out above the rest. Oh, but this isn't fear gas, it's hot high adhesion tear gas. Ooh. It clings like it clings like that. Work on Ooh. me. <laughs> oh. What do you call what do you call Lilith when she turned five years old? No more tears. <laughs> mm. And Harry's like, stop, I'll give you two ones. Hobgoblin. Ah, the voice of reason at last. Where is it? My father's old office in downtown Manhattan, the safe. You'll find it there. I'm warning you, Harold. If it isn't there, I'll be back. And Liz is like, find what? He's like, I don't know. I just said that to get rid of him. Uh, Peter comes out of the pool. The water got the gas off him. Where'd he go? And Harry tells him. He's like, I told him to go to Manhattan. Spider-Man says, that's exactly what you should have did. Leave the heroics to me. And he swings off. So he swings off for Manhattan. As we see, oh, look, strange lights around the Empire State Building. And Jonah, and then we see the view again. Jonah, getting all kinds of strange reports. Fires out of control in Midtown. Explosions in the sewers. Wild rumors about demons in the Empire State Building. Demonic redheads. <laughs> uh, Lord. So it's like, yeah, things are getting worse. Oh, Lord. The issue ends. Back in Long Island. Oh, look what Harry's, look what Harry's getting out. Dad's old clothes. Right on schedule. <laughs> Which takes us right to Amazing Spider-Man 312. Which picks up right there with Harry digging that suit out. This one, written by our good friend David Michelini and O Artist. I don't know if you guys ever heard of this guy, Todd McFarlane. To that kid, he had a lot of potential. Went back to Canada, eh? <laughs> Heard he's making toys now or something. He's a toy terrible man. toys. But oh yes, we see here. Yeah, Harry's got the actually has the suit on now. Too far, he pushed me too far. I'll show him that no one mucks with the Green Goblin. Two for the price of one. Waka waka waka. I know. Oh my lord! But come on, we got to. Green Goblin, Hobgoblin fight dr drawn by McFarlane. Exactly. Grotesque. Get ready for it. So yeah, then on page two is just all flashback about Harry's father, Norman, and then the events of last issue. Mm. You know, page filler. Yeah. But yeah, no shade. <laughs> Harry said he had, he, he was the one who hid the goblin suit here under the floorboards in case of an emergency. 
but do I really want? To, but do I really want to do this? When I was the Green Goblin, I became evil. What if? It's genetic. Evil is genetic. Boy, your parents must have been really bad. I'd probably adopt it. To be honest, if we go by that theory. Uh, she's Kryptonian. <laughs> At least her liver is. <laughs> Uh, so Harry, I mean, Liz comes looking for Harry, so he, like, goblin glides out the window. <laughs> He's trying to get the hang of that glider. <laughs> Wish I had more time to practice before having to bet my life on it. Uh, and then we see... It's like riding a bike, Harry. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we see Peter with Mary Jane. Wasn't he going to Midtown to try to track down Hobgoblin? Don't worry about it. Mary Jane... Said she needed something, so he's there to give it to her. You know what I'm saying? Whoa! <laughs> oh, is he? Oh, is he there to give it to her? <laughs> Whatever she wants. She can't, he can't have her calling Bruce. You know. <laughs> Did you ever talk to Bruce again? Him and his magic belt. <laughs> Batman. Oh, is, is she in, like in a tube top or something in tight jeans? Okay, I see why, you know. But then he says something about going to the bugle and checking on Aunt May. That, that's quite the list. And she's got a magazine shoot. Oh, so but see, Harry checks in at uh, the office. Recent Hobgoblin. This is crazy. The entrance, is, the entrance has turned into some sort of ice cave. What is this, Superman? No. Oh. He glides in. There's there's Hobgoblin. Osborne, you lied. Mm. But then over at the bugle, uh, <laughs> the presses are printing what? Pornography, Mr. Jameson. And shutdown controls aren't responding. Yikes. Uh, I'm at a party. I know. I was going to say. Uh, a little hellfire would be like, yeah. Go ahead, throw it in. All right. So I love Peter walks in. Jonah, I'm looking for any stories. Stories? The Statue of Liberty snarled a tourist this morning, Parker, and the Staten Island fairy, fairy spouted fins and swam out to sea. The whole blasted city's a story. Just take pictures of anything. Could you imagine? I know. Seriously. Uh, then back to Hobgoblin and Harry. That sounds like a sitcom. Your one last chance, Osborne. Where is it? I'm telling you, I don't know what you're talking about. Then perhaps it'll be more cooperative when your wife's blood coats my hands like crimson gloves. Man, this Mackendale's a poet. He didn't even know it. Liz. <laughs> Liz, no. So Harry starts throwing bombs. Mm, this is insane. So, yeah. Hobgoblin that's out with the finger blast. Oh, and then over at Empire State, uh, classes are all canceled. Duh. Uh, Come on, this isn't their first rodeo. They should be fine. Well, they did this to set up uh, Amazing 313, which we're not going to cover here because Hobgoblin's not in it, but we'll have to do that one day because, yes, you think uh, Inferno is having an effect on uh, Harry Osborne and uh, everyone else. Look, Who's in ESU? Kurt Connors. Oh, that can't go wrong. As his legs turn. He's, he's, he, on every day, he's barely hanging on by a thread. He shouldn't even be teaching at this point. I'm exactly. His legs turn green. And he's just tempting fate wearing that lab coat and then purple pants. For real. Oh, my God. If... Uh, the. If anyone in the Marvel Universe wears purple pants, does that mean they're due for a transformation? I think we cracked the code. If you're wearing purple pants, kids. Yeah, evil. Because as we know, purple and green are evil colors. Oh, Thank yeah. You, Charlie Yasser. you were either turned into a beast or you become evil. Uh, so Peter goes home to the Bedford Towers. Oh, this doorman. Yes, sir. Miss Parker. Messing. Mr. Parker, messenger, drop this note off. 
Oh, it's from Liz. She sent a note because the phones are down. She's worried about Harry going after the hobgoblin. What did people do in the before times, before cell phones? What? Did yeah, but do? in this case, maybe the towers would have been down even, you know. Yeah. Or they might have transformed into a giant lizard. Who knows? Harry sent the pager. It's the eighties. Good old I, pager. I love this. Harry sent. The, he even thinks Harry sent the hobgoblin to Osborne Chemicals. So that's probably where he went too. You knew where hobgoblin was going. Why didn't he chase after him? Because he had things to do. Mm-hmm. Mainly a redhead. Waka waka waka. I get it. I get it. So did she. <laughs> we hope. No. <laughs> I'm like, it's Mackendale. We couldn't have spared five minutes of his time. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it's only Mackendale. I don't know why we're acting like. It's not like it's Doc Ock or somebody. Come on. <laughs> it's not like it's a real threat. It's not like it's Venom. Come on. <laughs> but he's like, Poor gonna... Mackendale, the Rodney Dangerfield of Spider Man's Rogues Gallery. <laughs> I get no respect. So he thinks he better get upstairs and change the Spider Man and just hope Mary Jane will be okay until I can check on her. <laughs> yeah, check on her. Oh, look at this. It's a, like a shoot for some jewelry, I think. But what is this? Cleopatra? Don't get canceled, Mary Jane. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah. Redhead trying to be Cleopatra. But then the jewelry comes alive. Uh, but how do you kill gold? Bad, bad economy. <laughs> nice. Always invest in silver. It has a steadier price. Just just like pro tips, kids. And it kills the supernatural. Exactly. Uh, oh, then we see Peter finally swinging over to the Os- Osborne building. Uh, fires everywhere. Sirens screaming. It's like Manhattan is actually changing. When MJ and I go to Queens to see about Aunt May, maybe we'll just stay there. What happened to power and responsibility? Is he just like, oh, this must be the work of my uncle, maybe? (laughs) (laughs) Stay out of his business, you know? Stay out of his kids, sir. All right, so then he's like, uh, oh, and now, but for now, there's Hobgoblin, and here's Spidey. As he drop kicks through the window. Uh. Hobgoblin used to be Jack o' Lantern, a real second stringer. Again, it shouldn't take me long, too. Exactly. But then he sees Harry, so he's basically in the middle of this fight between Harry and the Hobgoblin. Oh, Spider Man like drop kicks a foul cabinet in the Mackendale's back. Shouldn't that have taken him out? One would hope. And Harry's like, stop it. My family's been threatened. I should be the one to protect them. Oh, Lord. Then Hobgoblin tried to pull Norman's old trick and remote control that collider right at them. Mm. Harry goes the kids, out. kids, they never learn, man. I know. Harry goes after Hobgoblin or those two fly off. And Spider-Man's like, ah. Harry practically begged me to handle this. Ah, oh, Spidey. Just call me Mr. Budinsky. <laughs> and Mary Jane's chopping gold in a little bit. See, I like when they let us know that Mary Jane can handle herself. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. Give her a weapon. I mean, a fire axe. like A, a baseball bat. <laughs> yeah, like when we talked to Jim DiMatteis, which you guys can hear on our upcoming 100th episode. If you have, if you don't listen, if you don't watch the YouTubes. Uh but yeah, hey, then we see Spider Man just hanging on the Bob Goblin's glider. What are the kids gonna learn? <laughs> oh my lord. So yeah, so that Harry... glider's nothing to be trifled with, okay? I know. So Harry's trying to figure out how to uh take out the hobgoblin. He gets above him and just like uh dumps every pumpkin bomb he has above Hobgoblin, just dumps them on him. You know, just uh in a big way, just a couple bowls down the gob. Uh, 
Where's my balls down the top? <laughs> that should be like at the top, to be honest, Phil. You need to re reorganize. Oh, all of raised, all of raised drops are gold. A couple of bulls down the gold. Gobble gobble. Hobgoblin. Yep. Yeah. So he nails them. Hobgoblin goes down to the roof. Mm, tell me, Hobgoblin, could you survive a sparkle blast point blank? But the Green Goblin formula. Oh, who's it with the what now? He wants the formula. <laughs> He's like, that formula was destroyed years ago, idiot. Don't you think I would have used it against you? You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. You know you've hit bottom of the barrel when Harry Osborne's calling you an idiot. Exactly. Just just hang it up. Retire. So, yeah. Palm Goblin throws Harry off him and he starts shooting blasts. Die! Not today, Hobgoblin. And Spider-Man tackles Harry out of the way and Hobgoblin just takes off. Mm. Oh, my lord. I thought Peter wanted him to stop. And he's like, oh, you did pretty good. You know, New York could always use another crime fighter. He's like, hey, I'm not crazy. Yeah, rocket racer. Oh, burn. Burn. Uh, and then he's like, I'm not crazy. I got responsibilities. I'm married. Maybe someday if you get married. Peter's like, <laughs> he was like, all oh, right, I forgot. So Pete swings off to check on his family. Harry takes off. And then we just see demons coming out of the sewers and out of hot dog carts. And then there's the lizard, but we're not going to get there this time. So, but it's on to Spectacular Spider-Man 147. Uh, and you know hell has come to New York when Spider-Man and J. Jonah Jameson fight side by side. It's a definitely a sign of the end times. When the bugle blows. <laughs> that's when the, the title. Breaks. <laughs> it's on the first page and it's on the cover. That's the title. When the bugle blows. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we see Tob Goblin flying away, I guess, from that last fight. I would have won if they hadn't teamed against me. It just isn't fair. Once again, Jerry Conway back to Sal Buscema art. Oh. Then Hobgoblin sees a Spider-Man uh, billboard and gets all mad. Throws a pumpkin bomb at it. What a temper tantrum. What? What a temper tantrum. A couple of bulls down the gold. Uh, if it wasn't for him and Harry Osborn. Mm, imagine. I'll get your little normie too, see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, after he bombs, the billboard demons come out and start attacking him. Tasty human dressed like demon. But you know, once we eat you up. Uh, so yeah, he's pumped Wouldn't that have been an appropriate end to him, to be honest? Yeah, what been. <laughs> hey, whatever happened to that, Mackendale? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, he act he actually manages to fight him off with pumpkin bombs and finger sparkles. <laughs> He's like, whatever's happened, whatever they've done to the Empire State Building, the rest of the city is no concern of mine as long as they leave me alone. Dressed like a demon, indeed, as if I don't want to be one of you. One of... I one believe of it. Us. One of <laughs> us. Uh, meanwhile, we see Spider-Man swinging through the city. Making his way downtown, and he's homebound. Da -da 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 -da. Again, thinking about Mysterio and then the demon. He's got to hang up with Mysterio. He's got to let it go, man. Seriously. If I hadn't been, if I hadn't been so worried about Harry and the Hobgoblin, I might have been paying more attention to what was happening. No, if you hadn't been staring at that redhead, you might know what was happening. <laughs> I'll check in at the Daily Bugle as Peter Parker. Didn't you just do that? Just Jonah recap will. it. It's getting a little, you know. I, Jonah will know what's going on if anyone does. Then I'll call Mary Jane at Hell's studio. Oh, but then a wind, a big wind comes up and blows him off his web into a side of a building. He grabs a gargoyle, but then the gargoyle bites him. Ooh, that had to hurt. Oh, yeah, stone creature bites you? Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> so, yeah, then he falls off the building. His side's all messed up. Oh, look at that plaque. Daily Bugle Building, founded in 1968. 
why 68? Why wouldn't you just put 1962 or three or 69? Oh, <laughs> no, I just mean like the Spider Man first appeared. Yeah, maybe it was somebody's birthday year. I don't know, maybe. But yeah, we see upstairs. Yeah, Jonah's rattling the troops. <laughs> and Spider Man comes up the elevator. Spider Man. Hi, JJ. Good to see you as he passes out. <laughs> Idiot. Jonah could have unmasked you right there. No. He should have. I guess he was too, too hurt to though. change, but still. Hopefully, he has that little electric thing that Batman has. Oh, the shocks people who try to take his yeah. off. Yeah. That's just my head cannon for the situation. <laughs> yes. But then, meanwhile, we see Mary Jane fighting, helping fight off demons at the studio. Oh, now she's got What a like, day to be alive in New York City. Am I right, folks? Hell. Uh, but yeah, now she's using some kind of metal pipe. Mm, and she's like, Peter, where are you? You said you were going to see Harry Osborne this morning out on Long Island. Haven't heard from him since. No. No. He went to Long Island, then he came and saw you, and then he left again. Get it together, sister. Come on, writers. We only got two writers on this thing. Come on. And then we see Harry flying home. Can't believe it. I beat the Hobgoblin. Wait till I tell Liz. She's and not like, going to be as happy as you think she is. I know. Then a big water spell tries to, like, attack him. No, leave. Stay here behind. Nice new barrier. He's like, maybe I'm going crazy as he flies around it. And then uh, he's thinking, what's that barrier that Think was talking about? Uh, and if you guys haven't gotten the message yet, check out X-Men issues. They uh, really needed the freaking numbers, people. Come on. I know. Whatever it was, I must have passed through it before it completely closed. And, oh, look at Harry. He's a nice friend. He's like, maybe I'll stop by May Parker's house. He's like, if Peter can't get out of New York, he He'd probably want me to go check on his aunt. Aww. They really ruined that friendship, and I'm always, I've always been very upset with it. Oh, Lord. I know. Now with the whole kindred thing. Yeah. They just love... You know, every so often, it's like with the marriage and thing, they just like to stab us in the back. You know, like, hey, remember when we did this? Stab, stab, stab. Thanks for, thanks for buying all the spider books. Stab, stab, stab. Yeah. <laughs> But I think this is also in Queens. Yeah, we see Joe Robertson getting attacked by a guy with a chainsaw. Trips him with his cane. Finally came in handy. Ah. Neighborhood's just going crazy. We don't see what's going on in Aunt May's house. Thank God. Uh, She's throwing some wheat cakes at him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but we, we see hobgoblins slinking around the Empire State Building. Uh, oh, well, no, what have we here? Demons coming out of the sidewalk. Dinner. Tell your master I want to see him. Tell him I want to make a deal. Uh, demon wants to see master. Master will like this. He will be amused. Oh, there he is with his... Uh, good. <laughs> Why would a demon have hair like that? Because he's a demon. I guess. Is that a mohawk? <laughs> You're the master of these monsters? Of course. I'm not laughing yet, by the way. You came here for a reason. You want something? Something we humans have to offer? What I want is none of your concern. Unless you read the X-Men books. I wish they desperately want you to at this point. I know, man. This is like this within like three or four pages. This is the second reference to an X-Men book. You're the master of demons. What else can you want but human souls? I'll trade my soul for power. I want the de power of a demon. Do we have a deal? <laughs> and they're all just laughing. Ha ha ha. Your soul? Your soul? Human, you are amusing. What would I want with your soul? Have you looked at it lately? Disgusting. Still, you I may. Agree. Still, I you may. Late. Oh, Black and Dale's. You're probably like, man, that thing's so small. <laughs> So you made me laugh, and that's worth something. So yeah, he zaps him. And he goes bouncing away. Really, you humans are priceless. So that was a quick transaction. Uh, back to the bugle. Demons are just flying in, attacking it. So Jonah and the bugle staff are fighting off demons. 
Spider-Man's trying to wake up. Ben, Ben Urich. My ribs are in agony, but I've got to help Ben. <laughs> he grabs a demon with webbing and then punches it. And what is it? it comes like powder or something? <gasps> oh, my Lord. Did Inferno turn like cocaine or something into a demon? I mean, it is the late 80s. <laughs> Riding that white, that white uh, horse. Yep. Yeah. And we see Jonah trying to fight off demons and Spider-Man comes in and helps him get like basically the scene from the cover. Uh, so yeah, we see Spider-Man and the Bugle staff fighting off demons. So what's the score, JJJ? Do you think we won? And then Jameson fights through a cigar. Ha! Huh, someone get a camera. Jameson is so tense, he bit through a cigar. <laughs> Uh, Jonah's even like, your side's bleeding. Hurts, too, but only when I laugh. And he's like, passing out again. Inferno. Oh, Lord. The next to last page we get, they even say, our last X-Men plug. <laughs> <laughs> At least they know. Because we see Hobgoblin clutching his face. My eyes. What did he do to my eyes? I can barely see. And the colors, the light, they're all wrong. What did he do to my eyes? He rips off his mask, and we see he's now demon. He wanted the power of a demon, and he will have it. But all power comes with a price. Demonic power, no less than any other. Uh, this price, the power has the power has a price. He has only begun to pay. All right, so last issue for us, well, hobgoblin wise. <laughs> Because, like I said, there was that. We already covered the Mysterio one. There was the the Lizard one. And then, oh, my God. Do you know what the last Spectacular Spider-Man issue was? It was 148. Spider-Man wasn't in it. Basically, demons were tormenting Flash, Thompson, and Betty Brandt. Oh. Like, one, yeah. One came, one came the uh, Flash as a Spider-Man. And a, lot, a bunch of them were tormenting Betty about Ned. So you know what the title was? What? Night of the Living Ned. Boo! Even my dog said boo. I was just like, uh, do we dare cover that one day? I'm just like, one yes. day. Oh, if we do a Flash Thompson month. Oh, well, we can't do February, so we'll have to figure something else out. Mm. I was going to say Flash February, but you know, we, we dedicate that month usually to African-American heroes. Usually. <gasps> That's better than me. I might have to change. Oh, what about uh what about Flash in the Panuary? Oh, <laughs> uh, we might be changing some Jan. We might be changing January around. Oh, <laughs> let's do it. I always love to make fun of Flash. He's a lovable oaf. I wouldn't want to read me neither. <laughs> Unless it's Flash Gordon, that is. But hello. <laughs> All right. So last issue, Web Forty Eight, again by Conway. Pencils once again by Alex Saviak. Yeah, they're ban We see uh, Ben Urich bandaging up Spider Man in the Bugle. He wants the Jonah. Oh, how's the wall crawler? He live, Jonah. I never saw anything like it. Hmm. They're all looking at the Empire State Building. <laughs> Uh, Spider-Man, oh, Jonah even has to say if Spider-Man hadn't been here, this city room might look like a morgue. I guess we owe him our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing him, he's probably behind this disaster somehow. <laughs> True. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Oh, come on. He's not an X-Man. Come on. You don't believe that, Jonah. The man's a hero. Hero Shmiro. He's a menace. Menace, eh? Yeah, so Spider-Man wakes up. He's all hallucinating. Thinks he sees demons. <laughs> He webs up Jonah's face and crashes through the window. Well, at least we know he's physically okay. But don't worry, Jonah. I hear Spider-Man's web usually dissolves in about an hour. Oh, Lord. New York, like the song goes, it's a hell of a town. Yes, sir. I've got, again, Peter, how many issues is this? This is like the fifth, at least the fifth issue. I've got to be dreaming. No, I was dreaming back in the people office. This is real. 
based and now he's thinking about Mary Jane. Mary Jane needs me, so he swings off after her. Mm, let me see. Oh, Eduardo trying to get Glory to safety. They get attacked by a forklift. Oh my god. He beats a forklift. There's something about this man, people. Uh we're gonna have to wait for the next full moon to figure out what that is. Oh, oh, and then elsewhere. Oh, we see the Kingpin's office is being terrorized by a giant demon. About time you guys come up. It's look at the arranger cowering in a corner. Man, no wonder you got your, no wonder you got fired. And by fired, we know what that means. Killed. Shot into the sun. Kingpin. Oh, Kingpin walks in. The demon. Ah, meat. Juicy, fat meat for me. Oh yes. And the Kingpin just decks in and it disintegrates. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's happening to this city, Ranger, and frankly, I don't much care unless it interferes with my plans for the destruction of that masked vigilante. Daredevil. <laughs> the other guy in the skin-tight suit. <laughs> I don't know, man. He had an obsession with guys in skin-tight suits. I don't know. Yeah. Don't keep uh, your hero paid to arrange matters so that I remain undisturbed by day-to-day -day affairs. Is that past beyond your capabilities? Oh, foreshadowing. Must I contemplate the termination of your employment? Uh, so, yeah, Ranger. No, no, no. I can do it. Then Central Park, we see Mac and Dale looking at his face, which is only partially transformed here. I wanted the speed and strength of the original Green Goblin. That's why I tagged Harry Osborne. So, again, more info dump. <laughs> So, but then when he couldn't get that, I went to the demon for power. And what did he do? He tricked me. Oh, look who's running around in the back there, the lizard. <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> pick up, pick up, pick up amazing. For those of you who may not remember to pick up Amazing Spider Man, there's your sign. Nailed it! Uh, I never dreamed. Uh,. And in Mackendale, a lizard decides, but man, I'm going insane. I love the editors that no, go check out Amazing 313. Get the money, gimme, gimme. Oh, jeez. That's a new drop. I need we need the money. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. <laughs> gimme, gimme. I see it. I want it. I get it. Man, Marvel's been taking nerds' lunch money for longer than both of us has been alive. True. That's all I know. <laughs> Oh, but then uh, Mac and Dale sees uh, Spider-Man swing by. And then he's like, it's all his fault. I wouldn't have gone to the demon if it wasn't for Spider-Man. Sure. Uh, so he throws his mask back on for some reason. Then he goes, oh, probably said it's a surprise. <laughs> then see Peter get to the, uh, to the studio where Mary Jane was at, but no one's there. Uh, oh, my spider sense is tingling through that fire exit. It's ting ting tingle in ting ting tingle in. Appropriate. Yes, down this grate into the sewers. No, not the sewers. Oh no, you know there's a poop monster coming, right? Which we see Mary Jane and the others wading through the sewers, and then something comes up out of the uh we'll call it water. <laughs> oh, tentacles. Oh little yeah. oh, poop tentacles. That the worst nightmare ever. Even even little Hellfire can't get behind those tentacles. That's right. I don't that's think those are tentacles. I don't think those are tentacles. They're even not quantum, little, they're not sparkly. No, thank you. Even little Hellfire can't get behind those tentacles. Oh! Party uh, in the front and the back. Uh, oh, no, we do see Ant Man Forest Hills. Oh, no. The biggest menace of this whole thing hanging laundry outside. <laughs> no sympathy for you like thanks for trying to save the environment by not running your dryer but you just you just omened yourself bro <laughs> i mean if not, i mean if nothing else joe robertson was getting attacked by his neighbors i mean here aunt may's like nothing's happening look there's someone walking their dog in front of her house i'm like what the hell queens is his own hell so it's fine 
this leads, no, this leads credence to your theory. Everyone's like, oh, no, that's where uh, Mephisto's uh, widow lives. Don't go near that house. <laughs> didn't get the damn memo that's why she's a black widow she's sacrificing souls see it's all coming together guys my theory i'm telling you one day somebody's gonna make me happy and it could be a what if story i don't care but it's gonna happen i mean the demons would mess with every superhero at this point but not at me oh look she's here's just that bamf it's fine that's right and then harry shows up to check on uh, her and christy uh and Aunt May's like, oh, Peter isn't with you. He must still be in Manhattan. Ruck-row, Shaggy. And speaking of, back down in the sewer. <laughs> oh, Lord, here you are, hiding in the dark. But I found you, sensed you, smelled you. Ugh. Really, Macadale, you could smell a person down in the sewer? Really? <laughs> Worse than a demon wall crawler. Hobgoblin. What are you, a glutton for pain? Well, yes, I do enjoy pain, particularly if it's yours. Get out, Mackendale. Uh, like, wait a minute. Those finger blasts are coming pretty quick. Something's happening to him. You see it. You see the change. I have power now, wall crawler. Demon power. At last time, you're equal. No, not your equal. I am your superior. Um, I don't would like to have a word with you, first of all. Seriously. And he, as he punches, the yeah, hobgoblin punches him. He's like, I felt that. He's stronger. Not, he's not only faster, he's stronger. Piece by piece, that's how I'll take you apart. Piece by spindly piece. So you beg me to, oh, shut up. Agreed. Hits him in the face. Don't you ever hit me again. <laughs> Yells another punch in the jaw like that, and I'll be sucking my meals through a straw. He's like, uh oh. Now he's, a, he's like thinking Mackendale's actually a menace now. Oh, Lord. But it seems Mary Jane and the others, the poop monster, doesn't like the light, so they're using a camera flash. Mm. And then Mackendale's trying to blast Spider-Man. I may yes, let you, you do. I may let you beg for mercy before I destroy you. And then he rips off that mask and shows him his got his uh, demon face. <laughs> See the hobgoblin I have become. Know who I blame for this, Spider-Man? <laughs> Let me guess. You blame an uncaring society that ignored your childhood emotional needs and later repressed your struggle for identity through adolescent rebellion. <laughs> uh, he's like, don't joke, I blame you. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you and Osborne. If it hadn't been for you, I wouldn't... If it wasn't for you and that metal, those meddling Osbournes, I would have gotten away with it. Basically... <laughs> So yes, and then Mackendale has his head. Oh, he's trying to drown him. He's choking him underwater. And that's not just regular water, kids. Remember. Uh, this is nightmare fuel. Oh, my Lord. So yeah, Mary Jane and the others, they're like coming up with a plan to like uh, set, off the, set off the toxic fumes to kill this monster. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, no, there's Spider-Man and the Hobgoblin. She, yeah. She throws whatever she was sending on fire at Hobgoblin, sets his costume on fire. My cape, stupid woman, you set me on fire. So Pete whips Hobgoblin into the tunnel. And Mary Jane's like, no, the tunnel's full of gas. What? <laughs> As it blows up. <laughs> it was full of gas. We're going to die. We're going to die. So yeah, Hobgoblin. Who knows what happened to Hobgoblin? Oh, Spider Man helps everyone out of well, at least Mary Jane out of the hole. He's like, "You saved my life, MJ." See, isn't it nice when Mary Jane has stuff to do? Exactly. You know, I'm down for it. I loved her book. Can't wait for it to come back. Hit Marvel. <laughs> oh my lord! Just. Look, you know, honestly, yeah. Mary Jane and Black Cat should have a team up book just for like four issues and see what happens. I think we said that, yeah. I'm just gonna, since you said you want to cancel both books and just two birds, one stone, one Seriously. could be a backup, one could be a main story and switch back and forth, and then you know, like even have a third story where they do a little, you know. I was gonna say, have them on an adventure together. I mean, yeah, hey, the, the, the number, the magic number right now seems to be five, do a five issue thing, yeah, see how it goes. 
because I thought both their numbers were doing pretty decent. Combine them. Hell, throw in, uh, throw in Spider Ghost for, for poops and giggles, too. Oh, there you go. The women of Spider Man. Hey, it worked for Power Man and Iron Fist. For a while. For a while. Yeah. They got a good, a good run out of it. I think they got, what, like 100? Did they, did they get at least 100 issues out of that? I feel like no, but probably. <laughs> I dipped out after last. I think I read like 20, and I'm like, eh. They got a couple of years out of that, you know, Power Man and Iron Fist. But yeah, so yeah, Pete saved the MJ, and then Harry's leaving at Aunt Maze. And then the conclusion to Inferno comes in Amazing 313 with the Lizard. All right, so yes, I think so. The, it's official. We're doing uh, Flash in the Panuary for uh, January. Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna have to put that Night of the Living Ned on there because it's yes. a big flash issue. All right, we'll, we will find. I get to roast Ned, yes. And for those of you hoping, we're gonna look. We're looking for uh, you know stuff where Flash looks good. Pff, hell no. <laughs> no, that that's not what we do here, no. sir or madam. That is not what we do here. <laughs> yeah, we want to mock Flash. I'm not gonna do any like you know things where he's like you know a heroic war vet. Oh no. <laughs> So, yeah, so after our Sinister Six mission, we'll be getting your flash in the panuary. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. So should we get out of here? Yeah. Honestly, though, should we really be broadcasting this? I, I know how other creators like to take from us. Maybe oh, we yeah. Maybe a little closer to the cuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Start my Twitter beef. <laughs> a, certain, a certain someone is uh, already warming up his keyboard. Yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, that sounds good. There's going to be all so, so check out CBR for a lot of Flash articles in January. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Damn, Phil. You're just going to name drop like that? I didn't say it, Lady Last. I was, I was being classy. <laughs> okay, I'll make up a fake name. Oh, uh -huh. Brian. Okay. <laughs> okay, Juan. We'll see you in January. <laughs> All right. So, anyone, share your thoughts with us. I uh, hope maybe by next episode I'll have the list for January. So, uh, if anyone wants to read those or steal those, uh, you can. Uh, but send your thoughts on these. Send your thoughts next episode. We're going to be covering Web of Spider Man 93 and 94. Again, another Hob Gobble Gobble guest starring Moon Knight. I so wonder you, who will leave feedback. I, oh, you I know. You, you know if there's one episode for the rest of the year he's going to leave feedback, it's going to be that one. Sounds like a bland, Jan. Whoa, that's pretty damn big. You know, guest starring Moon Knight. Whoa, that's pretty damn big. It just drives you crazy. Bubble of a boo boo. So yeah, send your thoughts to uh, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES, because we love feedback here. Because I know Lilith likes it long. <laughs> and, Guilty uh, is charged. Hey all. <laughs> she's, like, if that, she's like, if that's a crime, give me the chair. <laughs> anyway, so yes, follow Ultimate Spider Cast on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Follow all of our shows. Links to all of those. Uh, links to our Patreon. Links to merch. Links to the YouTube where you can watch this video and more. Uh, links to everything we do. Uh, all in one convenient place. That's Linktree. L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. And remember to support our sponsors. Tweaked Audio. This episode really would have scared you if you would have heard it in crystal clear HD audio so get yourself some tweaked audio headphones or go pick up Hunt a Killer because Michelle Gray needs your help guys want to feel like a real life superhero get the fam together and do a escape room in a box that's right and use the code Southgate for both of those for a discount and after you're done reading your comics for us uh, go pick up Pod Life the book now in digital and paperback. Put volume one because the audiobook and volume two are in the works. Uh, learn all about podcasting from the experts in the field and Rob Southgate. Uh, and you can get that on Amazon. And when you go to Amazon for that and anything else, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes. Help us support this show. 
Southgate Media Group Network, and that half demon, Rob Master Doom Southgate. Make it rain, so says Master Doom. What did you say? Your weak sauce. <laughs> Your weak sauce. And you will find out I am right so much more often than I'm wrong. <laughs> Martha and Molly would like to have a word with you, sir. <laughs> Go back and look at my history. <laughs> Little of hellfire. Um, if you nerds want to hang out with me on the interwebs, find me on Twitter at Little Hellfire. Over on the gram with the cool kids and your hip grandparents at Little Hellfire eighty six for the boring life updates and at Little Hellfire sixty nine for the memes. And of course, if you are on TikTok, please help a sister out. Find me on at Little Hellfire sixty nine on TikTok. I'm twelve weeks. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Throw it in. All right, everyone. Again, thank you for joining us. Come back next time. Web of Spider Man 93 94. Get starring tonight. Episode 99. That's right. The penultimate for our big Ultimate Spider Cast 100. Fun game. Still red. Swing on that. Swing!